Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about what will rotation do for prices. So recently rotation has been rolled back. I found this extremely interesting because they didn't even try to know new rotation. They just rolled back. And that means your cards, your Calidesk cards in particular, are going to have a longer standard life than previously mentioned. And rotation will be like almost normal, right? So one of the things, I don't know why they would do that, but it has to be financially um, based. Every one of Wizard of the Coast decisions is based on finance, and that is probably coming from Hasbro. I do feel the way they addressed it is very bad, and the fact that they never, they made a decision, then said, hey, how do you feel after the decision was already made? So in fact, they don't, don't really care how you feel and I always I made a video and I've been a big proponent of not going to super rotation which thankfully we are not going to and I applaud Wizard of the Coast for one thing that Wizard of the Coast is very good at is they are good at identifying a mistake and acting upon it but they're not good at creative ideas or new non-mistake ideas they make mistake after mistake, but they're very good at rolling back the mistake. In this case, I felt it was very interesting. They didn't allow the mistake to play out, right? So they should have allowed, or I expected them to allow the two set rotation, the you know, two, two rotation to play out, but it didn't play out. Now we have a larger block. We have longer times to have our cards be valuable. And this has to do with F and and attendance. I'll talk about my own f and attendances. Um, I go to four different stores and they have all been plummeting, plummeting in attendance. And this is because people are not interested in Magic the Gathering anymore. There's so many other avenues of things that you can be doing, like Pokemon Go. I play a ton of Pokemon Go now. And the more I play Pokemon Go, the less I play Magic the Gathering. And it's a really fun event to do. And Nintendo NX is coming out. And that's going to be really cool, and that, but that costs money. So the more people do stuff that is not playing Magic the Gathering, then the more that they don't go to f and the more the less money they spend. So I think that that's the trend that Wizards of the Coast has seen recently, is the fact that people are not going to f and because there's just so much more to do right now than go to Friday Night Magic. And Friday Night Magic, at my four locals, the four locals I go to, one of them doesn't have any events. The other one is only friends and family. And the other two are have declined by 25%. I don't feel that's much different for other people's locals. Maybe it is. So leave me a comment if your locals is doing extremely well. Remember, this is the best time for people to play Friday Night Magic. People are back in school again. And you know, summer is a bad time for Magic, but now is a really good time. So attendance should be up, up, up and up away but it's not it truly is not at least in houston anyway if i'm wrong and your locals is doing fantastic leave me a comment if your locals is not doing well also leave me a comment bye guys